Clark. David Edison. Voyage to the bottom of the sea. Hi guys, thanks for joining me. Um, <clears throat> as you can see from the title, this is the uh, the finale of my um, sea view build that I was doing for the TV movie Community Build. Um, <clears throat> if you recall, it was the one three hundred and fifty scale model that I was doing for Mobius. There was uh, something that I was going to do new with this build, which was to add um, some lighting just for the, uh, the searchlight or whatever that's at the front of the of the model um, and yet yeah, it's uh, completed now before I reveal it to you I have to ask that you don't laugh you see my um, artistic nature which is very small and uh, not very good decided I would try something a bit different with uh, the painting of this uh, submarine and I've done it and I'm not a hundred percent certain it works in fact I'm pretty sure it doesn't work but nevertheless if we don't try these things we don't know um, so please um, please be kind and uh, I will show you what I've done to this build now <clears throat> so uh, here it is guys um, and uh, yeah, can you, can you see what I was trying to do there? I, I don't know whether I've got away with it. I was trying to get the effect with the sunlight hitting the waves above the sea view and reflecting on the sea view as light. Um, you know, you see it in swimming pools, paddling pools, and obviously at the beach in where the, the water is um, being reflecting the, the sun down underneath and so I was trying to get this wave effect um, on the sea view to show that she wasn't really uh, she isn't really that deep um, I tried to create where the shadow would be so there's no wave effect along here and there's no wave effect under this uh, fin no wave effect on the on the more, on the vertical surfaces that that was the intention anyway as I say, I'm not sure that I've actually uh, achieved that. Um, it looks more like it's the sea view is a monster and it's actually got scales. I'll just change uh, the angle slightly so we can look at it from, more from the front. So a different angle. Um, I don't know. I think in some places it does work and other places it doesn't, but there we go. That's, that's what I was trying to do. Uh, I even continued it along the base keeping it away from this area again because of the shadow being cast by the sea view itself the base is a bit bland perhaps I ought to do some of these corals in different colours just to give a better impression but of course um, I've been a bit crafty and uh, I'll just sh show you how I've managed to do that <clears throat> so here's the sea view from the other side what I did was I only did the, uh, the wave pattern on half the build so if, if it didn't work too well I could just turn turn the model around and just have it as a plain sea view um, from the other side so um, so yeah there we go um, one last thing that I want to show you that I, I did achieve I'm gonna have to pick up the build to show you this stuff so just bear with me So I've got me light working. So I'm quite pleased with that. Quite pleased with that. Just something a bit fun. And as I say, I think it was uh, Chris from um, Classic Plastic 101 who um, showed me what, I, what can be done and how easy it can be. So I really appreciate that, mate. So a huge thank you to um, Edgar at uh, Mad Lab Models for running this community event. Um, <clears throat> as you know, I did the DeLorean from Back to the Future and I've done this build obviously from uh, Voyage to the Bottom of the Sea. Two builds that um, 
I would never have dreamed of doing if, um, if this uh, group build, community build had not been run. So, and that, that's what I like about, um, about these things. It's, uh, kind of gives you, um, inspiration to do something a bit different perhaps that you wouldn't normally do. Um, obviously there are other group builds that fall right within the genre that you love anyway, so you're more than happy to take part in those. Anyway guys, uh, that's about it. Uh, thanks ever so much for the, the support that you've given me during this build. Thank you to those who have subscribed to my channel and hopefully I will have a, a video soon of uh, another build that's um, either on my bench or is the start uh, for another group build. I hope uh, you guys are all well, uh, enjoying the warm weather. Um, I must admit, I'm hoping it's not going to last too much longer because my garden could really do with a good dousing of rain. Take care guys and I'll catch up with you soon.